hey everyone welcome back to my channel so this is my model and my very good friend Odioma. to prep her skin i'm going in first with this ovi oil from alaku naturals just going to blend this in to her skin To prime her face, I'm going in with this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. So I'm going in with this Elegant Illuminating Skin Enhancer just to add some glue to her face. For her foundation, I'm mixing these two shades from L'Oreal True Match and Maybelline Fit Me. To highlight, I'm using the Elega Pro Concealer in Form. I'm first setting her under eyes with the pressed powder from the classic powder palette in a lighter shade. I'm still going to go on and use a translucent powder later on, but this is just how I like to do it. Use a pressed powder, then use a translucent on top. To contour, I'm using this dark, deep dark shade from the same powder palette. And I didn't do a lot of contour here, but just to contour and warm up her skin, you know, that's what I used. Now I'm using the RCA Mino Color Setting Powder to further set the highlighted areas.
to draw and fill in her brows i'm going in with this bum brow pencil from beauty king in dark brown To clean up her brows, I'm first going to use the foundation shade to clean up the inner part of the brows and then I'm going to go in with um, a lighter concealer um, at the tail towards the end of the brows. To set her brows, I'm going to use a light powder from the Classic Powder Palette and I'm going to focus this on the end of her brow, then use her powder shade in the inner part. For her transitional colour, I'm using the same deep dark shade from the powder palette. I'm just going to blend this all over her crease. Next, I'm going with this shade from the Morphe Tech 25C palette and I'm going to further blend this all over her crease. And then I wanted some extra warmth and I went with, with an orange eyeshadow from the Morphe 35B palette and just blended it also in her crease and I'm going to do, do a half cut crease so here I'm using the concealer and I told her to look up so I could see where, her, where to start cutting the crease from Here I'm using a light shimmer pink shade from the Morphe 25C palette and I'm just applying this to the inner portion of her eyes. Next, I'm going in with this bronze, deep bronze, deep gold shade from the same palette and I'm applying this to the outer parts of her eyes. I 
and now from the same palette i'm using a deep pink shimmer pink eyeshadow and i'm just applying this in between the light pink shade and the bronzy shade and then i'm going to blend where all the eyeshadows meet So deep in the outer part on her face, I'm using a mix of a dark brown eyeshadow, a deep purple from the Morphe 25C palette, and a little bit of black. I just went back and forth with all those shades till I got what I wanted. Now I'm going back with all those transition colors we use just to blend and blend everything together. On another one lash line, I'm going in with the transition colors that I use as well as the dark shades I used in her outer crease as well and I'm just going to blend it. For her lashes, I'm using this lash by Gila Lashes in Glam. Lashes drying, I'm using her powder shade to sweep out the translucent powder we placed um, on the highlighted areas. To highlight her feet, I'm using one of the highlighter sheets from Kali by Bulky H palette. Just highlighting the high points of her face, cheekbones, temple, forehead, nose, and cupid bow. Oh, and the chin ring. I'm very subtle with my highlight, that's how I like it. Really subtle. Oh, yeah, so I applied um, blush, it was a light pink blush before doing the highlights but I forgot to show it and I'm just going back in with the blush brush and the powder brush as well just to blend everything together For her lips, I'm using these two nude shades from Classic. But I'm first going to line her lips with Zara Lip Pencil in Cappuccino. And yeah, so this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos when I do makeup on models and all. And yeah, 
let me know what you think also i'm, I'm a freelance makeup artist so if you want to book me for your wedding party you know whatever i'm available i'll leave the details in the description box yeah and if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye